Okay, welcome back to everybody who's been here before, and hello to anybody who hasn't. Back with Scorn, first playthrough, discussion of story, world, character, etc. There isn't really much of any of that yet. I am really terrified to go into this area, which is where I stopped last time, but let's go for it. What can go wrong, right? I salute you. Okay, well, we discovered that the mist is bad. Well, damn. Okay, so I just discovered that if you die, you go way far back, or at least, I mean, I hadn't done a lot, I'd wandered around a lot, but that the, whatever auto save there is, is, I think, based on the act structure. that goes. Okay, so I unlocked that one. I still I have to re-unlock the other side. But we established that the mist is quite deadly. Alright, I have no idea what this is supposed to do. just oh, oh, oh. don't miss me bro damn it Phew. okay this seems harder than it should be Does it send reinforcements when you do that? <laughs> it doesn't sound like it. Okay, so just slow going one at a time. I'm good at judging the distances on this quite short little gun. Okay, so what does that do? Okay, so it did. All right. Okay, so we have to do the other one. I assume. So let's go do that one. Every time I hear that, 
whatever that noise is, I walked by those things spraying. I'm just like, oh, Lord, the alien's about to eat me. Cool. Okay, so... Back here. put in the slot. Um, I, re I really like the the weapon. I don't know if it's supposed to be a weapon or if it's just a I don't know if it's a maintenance tool. I mean because obviously like any kind of like kind of like energy looking thing would be weird in this environment close cl certainly I thought maybe projectiles when I picked it up but this is much more interesting still one floating around on each side that I just couldn't reach. Okay, so that takes us back to this panel. Which is why we can still use this guy. Skim. But definitely, um, the gun, I think, a good example of being consistent in the world. I mean, you could have gotten away with some kind of projectile weapon, I'm sure it would have been fine. But doing it with a proboscis, more or less, it is much more interesting. And I think is, of course, what... I mean, my biggest question at this point is, how do you relate to this world? Because aside from the fact that we know your chest is screwed up, you're pretty different than everything else. Certainly, you're normal one, and whatever the hell the creatures are was, you know, the thing. Alright, so that's that. Come back over here. The noise feels a little louder. Oh, that can't be good. Good news. 
is this? We've lost our little tool. So far, I mean, see, it seems like that would bother us if that were not our normal condition. Are we outside then? Because this looks like the sky from the opening of the game. Are there are a lot of, like, are these other people like us? I think these are other people like us. Yeah, these look like other people like us because the chest is fucked up. Screwed up. Alright. So... Another corpse. Obviously we don't have the gun. We don't have our little, like... Peter Parker thwip spike thing. So where were we trying to get to in the first place? I wish I had some indication of where the hell I was going. I could wander around forever and not figure stuff out. Or also get lost really easily. Alright, well clearly we're not going that way. Oops. A little hung up. Okay. Um... I came from, or is this direction I'm going? What is that? I 
That looks like it's significant. I don't know if I can get to it. But it looks like there's stuff in the way. Okay. There's, uh, the background, like a hum, reminiscent of 2001, the movie. Uh, when it's in the, near the end when he's at Jupiter. the sense of a large something much bigger than you something much greater than you but you're not just in size okay what is this thing I thought it was moving for a second that's just the dust so how does this fit in with That first shot of the outside, because we were claw, claw, clawing along the ground toward some kind of mountainous mass in the distance, which was being swapped out with us crawling, crawling underground toward whatever freakish facility that is. But then we fell from above ground to underground, which is where we woke up by the first door. This thing brought us back up top and out. I have no idea if I'm going in the right direction. Music got a little more significant though when we got over here. So we'll take that as a good sign. Okay, here we go back inside. All right, aside from the Alien movies, I really am not knowledgeable or much of a fan of H.R. Geiger, uh, his other work. I mean, I see pieces now and then, and they all look absolutely insane. Um, and I suppose it's, is a brilliant person or a crazy person that comes up with some of the things he came up this weird weird synthesis of biological and mechanical okay here we go because it all definitely has like this all has the feel of like a living machine but not um, but what the hell is that? Um, like living machines and living like spaceships and what? Um, why do I have a feeling that's going to eat me? Okay, um, let's stop here after wandering aimlessly. I'll continue my thought about living machines in a second. And outside was fun. I will see you next time. Peace out.